Hi everyone, welcome to week 6 of season 2 of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week we are taking on the New Mexico Lobos. As you can see, uh, we are far superior than New Mexico, so hopefully we will be able to get the win. And here we go, uh, New Mexico uh, gets the ball to start the first half. And it's a third and four. Uh, Vega, it drops back the pass. Funny name, Vega, that reminds me of a Street Fighter character. And this one is just completely overthrown. I have no idea what they were thinking, so we are able to get the ball right back. Uh, in good position, but unfortunately, Hero is sacked uh, because I took too long before I threw the ball. Now on 3rd and 18, we may have a guy open, but unfortunately, I did not see that the safety from the left side was closer. Than I expected, and they basically intercept the ball. Well, on third and 18, that's not the worst interception in the world. We'll just consider that a bad punt. So now New Mexico gets the ball back, and a good first down reception there. This time, Vega goes with play action, gets it to Washington, and Washington just barely gets the first down. It's a strong effort there from Washington. This time, they Due to uh, Presley, their star running back on the draw, and he's inside the 10 yard line. Now, a couple plays later, it's third and seven. Vega looks to do a quarterback delay draw, but somehow he gets stuck a little bit too long, and he's not able to go all the way to the end zone. So, luckily, we we're able to hold them to three points right there. This time, Carroll fumbles the ball, but we are extremely fortunate that a lineman falls on the ball. So, it's only a second and 17, not a turnover. Nice catch here by Sapp. In traffic, gets the ball, uh, gives us a third and short, so at least we have a chance to pick it up, and we do with Cohen. So now first and ten again, near midfield. I think we got a man deep. Yep, we do. Maxwell gets the separation, and it's a touchdown. So we come right back and take the lead. Wow, Presley, nice spin move there to get away from our defender and pick up a nice first down there on the sit route. A couple plays later, it's third and eight, they give it to Presley on the draw, and this time we stop him before he can pick up the first down. Brings up a fourth down, they punt, we get the ball back. Harold drops off the pass, he's got Cohen again, Cohen he squeezes his way into another first down. This time Harold drops back, he takes way too long, and it's another sack. At that time, I didn't think there were any uh, there were any good passes to throw, so probably a good thing to take a sack. Here, I recognize it's a two-man under, but unfortunately, I was not able to uh, escape the pocket uh, before I was hit. So already four sacks, not the best. Brings up a third and very long, and we just decided to go deep for the heck of it. And luckily, Cunningham was able to get enough separation for a touchdown. On third and twenty, I probably wouldn't mind if that was intercepted, but it's even better if we can actually score. Now we're up uh, by 11 at home. I'm thinking at this point it's going to be a comfortable game. But uh, Vega comes right back. It's Washington again on the crossing route. And New Mexico is really looking to do some damage for uh, halftime, especially since they get the ball first. And here we almost pick off the ball. Woods had it in his hands, but he dropped it. But nonetheless, uh, it's a failed third down conversion. We get the ball back. And for some reason, I just did not see the guy in the intermediate level. And I decided to go with uh, Sap on that long slant pass. A very bad decision on my part. I should have just tried to dump it off underneath. I got a little bit greedy, tried to go for five extra yards and turn into another interception. So that was definitely a throw that I would rather have back. And unfortunately, it gives New Mexico a very, very good field position. I almost got an interception there, but no Wilkins and bounces off two guys and gets inside the 5 for a second and 2. And New Mexico decides to drop out the pass again. They fake the jet sweep, and the quarterback just takes it in himself. So, wow, definitely a disappointing result. Uh, it would have been great to go into the half up uh, 11, but now we're only up by 4. This time I think we got a man deep. But unfortunately there's 3 guys on him, and that ball should have been picked off. So we have to punt the ball on fourth down. Luckily, New Mexico was not able to do anything 
on their ensuing drive. So now we get the ball to start the third quarter, but unfortunately Hero is hit on the scramble and he fumbled the ball. Wow, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I was holding R2 instead of R1. So definitely should have taken better care of the ball. A extremely disappointing fumble given that it's right near our end zone, but luckily we're able to stop him here on 35 and limit the damage to only 3 points. So now we get the ball back, it's 14-13, it's still anyone's game. Definitely should have been a bigger lead for us, but right now we just have to do the best we can and avoid turnovers. This time we got a man wide open deep, it's Maxwell. Uh, there's no way the defender's going to be able to catch him, so luckily we go up 21-13. But uh, all in all, New Mexico is still in this game, and Washington has uh, had a very nice day so far up to this point, and they set up a second and one, and Presley is able to take it up the middle. It takes three guys to drag him down, but not before he gets a 15-yard gain. Uh, play later, it's second and six. Vega scrambles again. He's got plenty of daylight, even gets a decent block from a receiver, and they are inside the 20. And New Mexico just won't go away here. Now it's second and one. They got a man wide open, it's Redmond, and he almost gets into the end zone, but it brings up a first and goal at the one yard line. They give it to Presley, and there's not much I can do here. So now down by two, New Mexico obviously decides to go with a two point conversion. They hand it off to Presley, but he hesitates a little bit, and we are very lucky to trip him up before he falls over the line. So now it stays a two point tilt, a big defensive stop there on the two point conversion. For some reason, I saw Sap coming wide open, but unfortunately, one of their defenders played a nice zone and just sat in there when I thought he was going to move off, and it's another interception. So, bad read on my part. Not necessarily a bad decision, but definitely a bad read. I should have waited a little bit longer to see whether that receiver was going to run off or stay there. And instead, this really cost us since New Mexico was able to get a first and goal. And Willie Wildcat's really frustrated, and I really have to apologize to Willie here. That was just a terrible interception on my part. Now New Mexico gets the ball back on second and goal. But luckily, Bridges is able to pick this off. Our star free safety picks off the ball and basically saves the day and preserves our two-point lead. Now with four minutes left, we get the ball back. Harrow almost gets sacked, but nice pickup by the running back there, and Cohen actually gets a big run. And on top of that, there's a flag on the play, and it's a personal foul face mask, so we get 15 more yards. Very lucky there, given that Cohen doesn't have 90 speed, he normally does not break the big run. But nice job there, getting yards after the catch, and I squeeze the ball in here to Maxwell, and we are inside the 10 yard line. Next play, I get to Maxwell, he's wide open, and it's 28-19. Uh, so now we're up by 9, so basically it's a two-possession game. New Mexico cannot win the game with the score here. And on 3rd and 2, they get it to Presley, and it brings up a 4th down. And of course they go for it. They had a man open, but Vega for some reason decides to scramble, and we are able to stop him before he gets to the 1st down. So that's a key example of the lack of quality for New Mexico. A better team would definitely pick up the first down. But instead we come back, we got Maxwell wide open on the smash route. And boom! It's 35-19 and basically the game is out of reach. Uh, New Mexico comes back and gives us their best shot anyway. And they complete this pass to their receiver near the sideline. I was hoping that they would complete it to the underneath guy, since that could have been an interception. Here a dangerous pass to Magnus, but he gets it, and he crosses the yellow line. A couple plays later, it's 3rd and 9. I'm hoping to get the ball back so we can run up the score. And it's 4th and 9, a very errant throw by their quarterback, and they go for it on 4th down. Big guy tries to pass the pass, he's got a man open, we cannot stop him. Another guy tries to pull down his pants, but cannot do it. And their receiver actually gets a touchdown after two uh, missed tackles for us. And now they decide to go for two again to try to make it a one possession game. And we hit the quarterback just before he throws the ball. So now it remains a two possession game, so the onside kick is not as critical. 
but we get the ball anyways. Downs, our star linebacker, and he picks up the ball easily. Now, with a minute left to go, we're trying to just basically run up the score. Go with the underneath route, Cohen comes open at the last minute. Nice catch there, forcing them to use their timeouts as well. Another first down. I think I have Maxwell on the smash route, but for some reason, their safety was able to jump that route, and Maxwell did not bend in for the ball as much as I thought he would. So not necessarily a bad decision on my part there, just an unexpected result. But on 3rd and 18, we sacked them for 4th and 20, and they were not able to put additional points on the board. So there you have it, 35-25. Uh, we win the game. Uh, not necessarily the uh, most comfortable win, but I have to say that in no part of the game were we actually threatened. And looking at the stats, 346 is very nice, but five turnovers is definitely a cause for concern. That's three turnovers way too many, and we gotta cut that down. We're able to get away with the win here because we're playing a far inferior opponent, but when we play better opponents, that is definitely gonna hurt us. So overall, nice day for Maxwell with four touchdowns, but Cohen also had a good day with 89 yards. So that's it for week six. I hope you guys enjoyed. And next week, we're going to be taking on Colorado State.